All right, so we put a screen protector on the Elantra on this section over here, just to try to contain some of the fingerprints that inevitably happens. If I blast the light on it, you can kind of see where it starts and where it ends. I can't really tell in the dark, obviously. So I'm pretty happy with the install. So what I ended up doing actually is taking this thing over here, which is a really cheap 9H uh, screen protector off Amazon. It's like 10, 15 bucks. You notice that I still have it, but the screen protector is on there. So what is this for? I actually took this, which is, this is like a normal like 9H sort of screen protector, generic stuff you see that it's advertised for phones. Took this, use this as a template and cut out um, this is a Skinomi tech skin for a MacBook Pro 15 inch, actually. Used as a template, cut this, cut it out of this. And you can see kind of the, um, uh, what results it out of that template over here. It's the backing film for it, which is pretty much an, a near, pretty much an exact fit. And use that to attach the, um, Skinomi tech skin cover, um, protector onto this thing. The reason why I did that is I kind of, I like the Skinomi stuff. I've been using them for a few years now. Um, if you never looked them up on Amazon, I mean, they're interesting if you want to give them a go. So it's not glass. Um, it's more of a kind of film that goes over it. What I like about it is like, I feel like a lot of the, the glass, tempered glass sort of covers over here, um, they have a, a fingerprint resistant coating, but it's a coating that wears off. It's not the glass that's imbuing the fingerprint resistance, it's the coating. And that stuff, like, I feel like wears down a little bit. If you crack this also, getting it off to pain in the butt. Whereas the Skinomi stuff I really like because this is kind of a film. It is self-healing. So if you dent it and you leave it there for maybe like a day or two or you let it heat up, it will undo itself. It's kind of like paint protection foam, actually, um, which is awesome. And they, they do a really good... I feel like they have it thicker, or maybe it's just a characteristic of the film. It resists fingerprints a lot nicer, and it cleans up pretty nice, too. You can take isopropyl alcohol and scrub it over if you want to. It won't hurt the film. So, um, I dig that. Kind of a quick um, sort of uh, add-on over here that I just did. Um, one thing I was a little bit concerned about is uh, these have to go on wet. So, they give you a little spray bottle over here that you use to go on wet both sides so you don't, it doesn't stick to you. And I was putting that on, squeegeeing it off. Um, some of the excess water actually ran on the sides. I noticed it was just kind of, I was squeegeeing it off and it was just disappearing. I was like, did I not put that much stuff on there? Or I realized it's running a little bit behind a crack here, which kind of freaks me out. I didn't put, you don't need to put like a whole lot of fluid there, but it does kind of bother me a little bit. That I didn't manage to grab all of it. I had a microfiber ready to go and grab the sides of it. I didn't realize there was a little bit of a lip where that screen kind of flops a little bit back. So... Uh, if I could leave this thing in the sun, it would be optimal just to make sure that dry, that all dries itself or makes its way out. I'm hoping it'll evaporate out. Um, that kind of freaked me out a little bit. I got a decent uh, amount of the fluid off, but like on the bottom, or I'm not quite sure like how much ran off and maybe seeped behind a little bit. So that freaks me out a little bit. If you're going to do that, put a rag to the side and make sure you're capturing it as, it's exit, as you're squeegeeing it off. Don't let it just run. Um, I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue, but something that just kind of bothered me a bit, but anyhow, um, this should be good. So it makes it a little more obvious. I feel like with the, actually well, with the overhead light on normally you're driving, like it's not really obvious that it's there. Um, and it works just fine. Obviously it'll resist some of those, uh, fingerprints on there. So yeah, pretty happy with that.